Playbox members, my name's Jess and today I'm going to be reading Velda's Surprise Picnic by Sue Newgas. Today was Treacle's birthday and Velda had conjured him up an especially scrumptious surprise birthday picnic. Treacle will love this, she thought, feeling very happy. But big clouds were coming in fast, and the sun had disappeared. Oh no, said Velda. She took out her cauldron and picked up her magic wand, and was cast a spell to make the sun come out again. Velda found the How to Make the Sunshine page in her spell book, and saw that for the magic to work, she needed a few ingredients. A feather from a bird, she reads. Easy peasy. She went out into the garden. Here, birdie, birdie, birdie. But as soon as the birds saw her, they twittered and flissed away into the, hedge, into the hedges. Oh, bothersome birds, said Velda. What's next? Two toenails from two toads. Oh, I know just the place. Velda walked down to the pond. Here, toady, toady, toady. But as soon as the toads saw her, they jumped into the water. Not spells again, they croaked and hid beneath the, the lily pads. Tedious toads, Velda grumbled. A hair from a squirrel's tail, no problem. She walked into the forest where the squirrels were playing. Here, lovely squirrels, I have some nuts for you. But as soon as they saw Velda, they all scurried to the topmost tips of the trees. It's Velda, they screeched. Oh, silly skittish squirrels, she moaned. And next on the list, a bunch of buttercups. I know exactly where to find them. Velda skipped over to the meadow, but Florence the goat had eaten them all. Greedy goat, Velda groaned. Oh, Farmer Fraser will help me with the next ingredient, a tuft of sheep's wool. Velda hurried across to the farm, but the farmer had shorn all the sheep's woolly coats yesterday and they were quite bare. Great shivering sheep, cried Velda, stamping her foot. And can you see they do look a bit chilly? We've all got these hot water bottles and scarves. Poor sheep. There's one more ingredient. I must have a spoonful of golden honey. I'm sure the bees will help me with this. They're my friends. Velda tiptoed quietly down to the hive. But the bees were having a bad hive day and in a big buzzy swarm chased her all the way up the garden path back to the house. You rumbling, mumbling, bumbling bees, said Velda, shaking her fist. Velda realised she had nothing at all for her sunshine spell. She was as gloomy as the clouds, which were getting even darker, especially the ones over her head. She was so busy fretting, she'd forgotten it was Treacle's birthday and all about the secret picnic until Treacle came in. Why are you so cross, Velda? Cheer up, it's my birthday, he said. And if you're looking for something, I think I found it. What? said Velda grumpily. Treacle pointed to the secret picnic. Oh no! Look at all these O's, she's very upset. Shrieked Velda so loudly, so piercingly, that Treacle had to cover his ears. All the birds flew out from the hedges. All the toads hopped up from the pond. All the squirrels scurried down from the trees. Florence the sheep trotted over from the farm. And all the bees buzzed from their hive to see what all the noise was about. It was supposed to be a surprise, said Velda. Then, just at that moment, out came the sun and all the clouds disappeared. Velda couldn't believe it. My spell, it worked, she said. All my friends are here, said Treacle. So they sat down together and tucked into Velda's surprise birthday picnic. 
and it really was scrumptious. This is the best birthday I've ever had. Treacle purred. And that's the end. So thank you for listening and sleep really well.